Good morning, Dr. Swar. Yeah, very good morning. Very good morning. Uh, students, we will continue with our uh, second lecture for the day. Uh, we have with us now uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Mithun Jain Swar. He is the Director General of R&D at uh, KIIT University. Uh, he has a total of 15 years of experience in institutional building and technology information. He is a strong promoter of R&D-led enterprises development. He is on a mission to set up bonus for city knowledge and innovation cluster and is planning to set up a manufacturing hub also. He is a professor at the School of Biotechnology at uh, Kalinga Institute of Technology. Uh, he has a PhD from uh, Biotechnology from Delhi University and a postdoc from uh, ETH Zurich at Infection Biology. He has uh, more than 120 research publications. Uh, he has several uh, authored several book chapters uh, to his credit. Uh, with this short introduction, I welcome Dr. Uh, Swar to deliver this talk. The floor is yours, Dr. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, the SISTI team, for inviting me. I think I'm talking to uh, the future innovators or the entrepreneurs, but I feel so. So let me start with uh, my talk today. I have been given a task to talk to you about the incubator business. So how you can leverage the incubator and you can translate your ideas into new product, new process or new service. And uh, can I share my slides? Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, doctor. Yeah. Uh, so, dear uh, participants, let me tell you today, uh, uh, I know you are, every day you have got so many things, but today, uh, after listening to me, maybe you might think differently. I'll give you a lot of recipes that how some of you can take things differently and uh, build the next generation startups or at least the innovations component of it. Now, this is a completely different process. And so I'll tell you what the process is and how can you leverage what you can do. And I can also show you people like you have built something exciting and those case studies or those examples I'll give. So in next uh, 45 minutes, uh, my job is to tell you uh, how can you build a biotech startup or life science based startup company and how can you leverage the ecosystem which you call technology business incubator or bio incubator. So now this is a very interesting slide and uh, most of us, we uh, will find ourselves in some of these uh, verticals. And I look at uh, all of you uh, coming from academia and research at the very bottom of this uh, path. So this slide is quite interesting because if you understand where you are and how to jump from one vertical to the next vertical and what exactly you need, I think you'll be quite successful in the mission which you have been taken up. So being from academia, like you know, he said, I'm also a professor, I've been teaching, I've been doing research, publishing papers, filing patent. But more importantly, you know, I have also got two startup companies. Uh, I'm a part of those two startup companies and major shareholder because some of the technology which we've been developing is getting into market. And that's why science should not be a parasite. Science should build technology and technology should go to market. And persons like you, the students like you, the universe like you must think how to build this path. So number one, uh, if I look at this uh, slide, most of us in the bottom of this path, where we create knowledge through you know, education, through research, but then many of us, we don't take it further. Be it called a professor, be it called a student, PhD scholar, or maybe some of you. Now, today we should discuss about how do you take this knowledge which you have created in the laboratories, in the you know, academic institutions, to go to the next level of creating business enterprise or the growth enterprise. And this is not a very simple that way. It's not very complex also, but you must build clarity, understanding how to build a path. And there is no textbook that how to build a path, you know, is fixed for everyone. It's very flexible. You need to understand what exactly you need. So I'm going to explain you one of this, uh, every vertical of it. Now, let's say you have, you're doing, uh, you know, research, you're creating knowledge, 
and then you stop there because your job is masters phd postdoc professors then you publish then you file patents and many of us we don't talk about what is next to patents now in this process you'll understand that what different building blocks are important for you to create a more enterprising path more entrepreneurial path that's why today i'm going to speak to you now once your knowledge is created you need to understand that you need to file patents or ips and once beyond that the academic fashion they don't think about it but people like you should think differently once the file is you know you file a ip it means something belongs to you that know how belongs to you that knowledge belongs to you then what what how can you leverage that so you must starting you know start building a prototype out of it for example i'll give you a couple of examples where we have been quite and quite successful in the country converting those ip into next product or the process so what i'm trying to tell you once you have got ip with you patent with you copyright with you don't stop it there start building the next you know verticals for you that is called prototype designs this prototype has a lot of you know component so design principles are very very important so maybe it you know somebody is going to tell you about what design thinking is but design a plays a very important role in building a prototype so once you build a prototype and you start working on the prototype it means you will know this is how it's going to work and you are not only on paper or a patent documents you are in the physical prototype you know uh, entity so that's called proof of concept it means you take your ideas build a prototype and then taking the prototype you do certain analysis or you call validation stuff so that's called proof of concepts and all these are very very important creating your path towards innovations or entrepreneurship so do not stop at the knowledge level experimental outcome level in a form of a publications or a patents think beyond it start thinking about how do you build a prototype keeping in mind the design perspective of it now once the proof of concept is done Uh, any problem happened i think yes, doctor we lost your voice yeah uh, can you see the slides now no oh. i think right oh. okay but why it happened i okay can you see now uh, yes okay so this is what i was talking about proof of concept and beyond proof of concept you need to go for the validation of your proof of concept so it needs a lot of you know uh, things like you do clinical trial you do field trials you look for the regulatory affairs you look for certifications but in this process many of us we say we cannot build our startup company but it can be also transfer our technology just try to tell you these are all building blocks of building a right kind of path which you will translate your ideas into enterprise so once you validate it means a large number of samples and all it might go to the next is go to market strategy so you look for customer clients and also you look for investment or the angel or the vc funds to see that your validated product or the process goes to next the scale of strategy so it means you build an enterprise which is growing and growing so this is what you need to build your path in the process of incubation activities that's what we have been doing and in ktbi where i come from we have more number of companies and more than 300 number of companies you promoted and you'll realize how students have built you know more than 9000 crores company so this is what you can build yourself it's not the academics like you have btech degree and masters degree it's beyond academics how do you build the path towards taking your ideas into enterprise now so the normal trends what we have been seeing among the students among the you know people that i always find we do not think at all forget about thinking out of the box we do not think at all we have been following others which is very very dangerous at the moment because 
if you really want to get into the innovation line, you really need to think from every perspective. I showed you this building the path, which talks about not only knowledge creation beyond that, from prototype to tech transfer to startup to trial to regulatory, so much available there. You need to understand all these points. Otherwise, your thought process will not be concrete. And little experiential learning. We do not experiment. We do not experience things. We simply extract things from the literature and start building something out of it, which is not very good because you need to experiment on. That's why incubation centers are built where you can do experiments towards sustainability, towards commercial activity, not just to publish a paper, but how can your experiments build certain things which you call technology readiness level and beyond that, how can you build market readiness level of your product or the process which you're building it up. And being a science students, we have been doing always, most of us doing exploratory research, which are very, very simply repetitive. I have been following many of uh, the institutions, students doing PhD and all, but a very, very repetitive kind of work we've been doing. And most important, I have realized institutions, bigger institutions, including the top institutions, we do not have mentoring processes. So remember, dear participants, the incubation, the most exciting activity in incubation is mentoring. Mentoring means they are not teachers, they are individuals who have some wisdom from all these sectors I told you, technology to business, to market, to designs, to IP, to regulatory, they will be men mentoring you. It means you would, they don't teach you in subjects, but they mentor you based on your innovations, how to take it to next level. And these are very, very important. Otherwise, if you don't find the right kind of mentors in the incubation ecosystem, I think the process of development was very, very hampered in this system. Now the vision plan. So if I talk to individuals as innovators, as a student who thinks I need to develop certain exciting things, now, however, the vision plan is missing. What you want to achieve in next six months? eight, nine months, 12 months, you need to build your vision plan very, very clear. That's the train I see things are missing in the ecosystem, vision plan is missing. Lacking innovations, we simply say somebody is doing in US, I can do it in you know, Odisha or India to make it better. No, that is fine, you can do that. But the most exciting part will be there are a lot of problem statements we have which needs to be solved, which are unmet needs. Nobody has looked into a new way of solving it. Can you bring an innovation in that, which makes it innovations not only by a process, by a business innovations, by a design innovations, by usualness, no, user friendliness innovations, so that this will be adoptable, marketable, scalable in the you know, uh, market. So this is what I'm telling that do not copy and paste, bring some innovations, don't have to you know, invent things, but innovate part of it so that this will be better than the earlier product. Very, very important things. And most important about scaling part of it. So scaling is missing in the ecosystem. I'll be requesting, suggesting all of you build your skills. I have been doing that since, you know, when I joined, I have been building my skills to promote innovations. You must build your skills to take your innovations to next level. You cannot have any complaint. I don't know about it because you're competing in an open environment, in a process, in a platform. So you have to be skilled or bring skillful people in your team. And uh, self-criticism and learning from the mistakes, I'll not elaborate on this, but you understood what I'm trying to uh, talk to you on this part of it. Now, this is where the exciting thing starts. So what the exciting thought we are going to talk about more towards entrepreneurship, bio-entrepreneurship. So it, it's towards creating jobs. I know you'll make your company, but I look at the other one, who is creating jobs. It's not bigger companies. Today, the time has come, people like you come forward and take up your innovations to next level through incubation processes. I'll show you how our startups have really created from individual to a team of five people, now a team of 500 people, 495 employees plus employees in a company. Doctor, we again lost your voice.
chất Yeah, I don't know why it's happening like this. <laughs> ah, yes. This is from my end or? Yes, sir. I think the internet is some problem. With it. This wouldn't happen, but <laughs> this is happening. Okay, anyway, so I'll, I'll try the next time with mine. So this is where I stopped at Tropidership. I hope you can follow me, all of you. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, entrepreneurship is a, a culture. It's a mindset. It's a mission. And it's a process where uh, some of you look at the challenges and don't complain. You convert them into opportunities. And uh, so this is what you know we're going to talk today, how you as an individual, you can build up a new culture, a new mindset, a new mission, a new process. So some of you convert those challenges into opportunities. Now, what you need for this? So what you need for this is an innovation ecosystem which we call as a technology business incubator. And uh, this is important because all of us, we know in a academic institutions, the, there are classroom, there are laboratories, but you know, if you look at an incubator, this is not as such a classroom or laboratory, this is beyond it. It's an ecosystem, which you'll realize after some time, what ecosystem I, I'm looking at. Now, so what I'm trying to tell you here that what you need in this ecosystem is a technology enabling platform, which we call technology business incubator, where a lot of things happen starting from hackathon, ideathon, or creating the problem statements. And then you build on your team exercise. How do you build a team? Remember, dear students, dear participants, uh, team building exercise is very, very important. Otherwise, what will happen, you know, if you don't build the right kind of team, in the long run, you realize you cannot bring all expertise. So your team should have all complementary expertise, people who really build it up. Then is mentoring exercise. So mentoring is very, very important. I told you mentors are available. If you go to an incubator, you don't find teachers, you find mentors who really work with you, your problem statements, they help you to solve it and go to next level. That, that is not happening in a normal classroom or with a professor. And it, this ecosystem supports innovations. They never discourage, they always encourage innovations, bring you patentability, technology transfer potentials, then you develop technology readiness level. So a lot of these things are happening. So they support innovations. And where the knowledge of IP, regulatory, business, all will be you know, running parallelly. It's not about building a technology, it's about protecting your innovations through IP, you know, take it through the regulatory compliance approvals, bring in the commercials, you know, uh, viability, all these things happens there. Now, where they help you to translate ideas into enterprise and more than that, the vision for scale up. And of course, I have seen many, what you call many innovators, startups and all, they always see that, you know, uh, do things in a very small scale. But remember, dear participants, the innovations, the entrepreneurship model is more towards scale up. You not only cannot work with very little populations or little market size, you need to grow up. Otherwise, you cannot sustain for a long time. And more than that, you need to understand the networking ability or outreach ability. That's what is, I think, incubation centers are going to tell you. Now, what an incubation center is in an ecosystem that cannot work in isolations, that cannot work in isolations. It has a lot of components, starting from what you call science completely in the backbone, technology, product development, validations, IP support, design thinking, regulatory, market research, 
mentoring, business support, investments, PR, branding, what not. It means this is an ecosystem which provides you a lot of these know-how capabilities, which you cannot do it of your own. And that does not happen in a classical academy institutions or research organization. So you have to go to a center, which you call incubator, which has got some of these or most of these, you know, verticals or components. And this TBI, it facilitates creative thinking and technology development with business potential. Very important. If you do your project work, your professor talks about innovations maybe or something exciting, but in TBI, it's with the business potential. It means just to go to market. And of course, you find leadership with dynamic team there. Now, who supports to this incubator? There are many agencies supporting. You don't have to worry about it. Money is plentifully available. And uh, there are PSUs putting their funds and CSR fund is coming into picture. So there's no dot of funds in the incubation centers. We have more than 400 TBIs in the country. I'm not saying it's kid TBI. I'm saying there are more than 400 TBIs in the country. So those who are listening to me coming from different regions, please look a good incubator where you can take your ideas, go to them, start talking to them. You find different kinds of mentors. They'll help you to take your ideas from crude level to refined level. Build the right problem statements so that you can really, you know, build it as a, you know, enterprise model. So, if you really want to, I uh, know some of the many questions been asked by you know many people in different platforms. They said, "No, we are really uh, going to do it, but who is going to fund it? How can I sustain myself?" I hope uh, I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now the main question comes: Who is going to support if you are a student and you have passed masters, bachelors, or whatever PhD? How do I take my ideas to next level? Because who is going to support me? Definitely your parents are not going to support you. So dear student, dear participant, let me tell you, funding is not a problem. I'm just giving you one slide. We talks about very early stage. If you have interesting ideas, you can avail this these money, the funding support from many different funding agencies. EIR of a Nidhi scheme of BST gives you fellowship, get selected. Annually, I think more than 500 fellowships are given by more than 50 centers. SIP Fellowship, Social Innovation Immersion Fellowship Program. We have five fellows here. One is BITEC, one is PhD, one is Masters. These students, when they get selected on basically a social problem statements, they get 50,000 rupees per month fellowship by BIRAC. Tide 2.0 scheme by the Ministry of IT and Electronics, you get 30,000 rupees per month. I'm just trying to give you that Think about your problem statements, ideas to take further. No, don't think about money. It will come automatically if something is good. But I ask him of DST has got 10 lakhs rupees of grant. MSME provides you 15 to 20 lakhs rupees of grant. There's an exciting big grant called Biotech Innocent Grant. Even if you are a bachelor's pass out student, BTEC students in the more eligible area criteria, we have bachelor's pass students have got 50 lakhs of grant and have built bigger companies out of it. So money is, I'm just trying to tell you, Funding is not a problem. I have been getting calls from students who tell us I have interesting ideas, but a fund is a problem. If the idea is interesting, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I think funding is going to be very, very interesting for you because it will come automatically. I've seen that. I'll give you these examples where how we have been an incubator, been supporting ideas coming from people like you and why this is different than academic institutions. It's a different ecosystem. Here is a gentleman who is a, you know, who worked in a company and came back to India and said, I want to establish a company. So he had different kinds of problem statements. So when he met our, you know, we selected him to be our startup company. So first thing he meets a group of technical experts where he has some ideas. Technical expert has got many ideas. Now his ideas were reviewed or modified by this group of people who we call technical experts who says these things may not work, this might work. And based on that, he could build the right kind of problem statement during COVID time. Just imagine during COVID time, many startups got stopped. But he is a startup who grew during COVID times and this needs right kind of mentorship program. So Ezrex was born during COVID time. So what they realized that kind of problem statement, one of the biggest challenge with COVID-19 is that we do not have enough capacity to test our huge problem. This is the problem statement. 
dear participants please remember when you solve your problem statement bring the right problem statement in your dashboard what exactly you are going to you know solve it during covid he realized we do not have enough capacity to test our huge population in terms of real time pcr so you all of you know that covid right now everybody has more knowledge about covid it has got different kind of signs of coronavirus infections from temperature high your coughing to oxygen saturation goes down bilirubin goes up so these are the different you know parameters people look at now what is said can i build a simple device which will look at all these parameters in a very easy method so that's why he called eg check was born is a non invasive contactless portable device and this company was ideas in came from here with the individual and today he has a large number of people in the company i'll tell you what happened to him now eg check is a non invasive device portable device which can measure temperature anemia liver and lung functions within less than 5 seconds without taking a single drop of blood from the human body it gives you result this is a ai platform which gives you results in absolute value and tells you how good your lungs and liver are functioning remember this is going this is an unmet need because getting into rural populations urban populations screening purposes we do not have such kind of devices can you build it this is what he has built and today this company has got you know get into state hospitals private clinic diagnostic centers everywhere so you can go now this is now he's looking at the growth strategies look at the device this device is so slick only you have to put your finger and after 5 seconds you get your results on a mobile platform this is what is exciting part of it and by seeing this this got a lot attracted a lot of funding investments you know traction in the market this is how i'm trying to tell you this company is now funded by uh, mankind pharma invested by them and is now growing and growing this is how ideas gets into reality to enterprise to product a process enterprise in a process of incubation incubation is a structured platform which takes your ideas help you everything belongs to you nothing belongs to incubation center but these centers have been created in the country in the whole world actually to convert to help you because you cannot bring technical people ideas you know design people marketing people business people policy makers you know regulatory compliance certification people on one platform these centers bring it now this is a very interesting one with a upswell technology private limited the student just passed master student of nicer bhubneswar comes to us for phd program so we just talking to her we understood she has some ideas and there is a potential maybe she doesn't know how to execute it. now there the incubation center comes into picture and talk to her and finally today after 3 4 years of hard work she has been getting a lot of funding but the most exciting part she is going to solve a interesting problems of farmers that how quickly smartly point of care she can look at the npk moisture soil and you know quality analysis in less than 30 minutes so it means she is building up a device basics of science technology electronics physics and chemistry a small device which can look at the soil health soil the quality and tells the farmer how much npk to put imagine people don't have it you need to send your samples to your laboratory to get it done very very cumbersome expensive you don't get on time now here a simple device comes on field or in a kiosk you can really go and get your soil quality done all science all technology this student could have gone to phd program and then different kind of activities but she realized let's go to incubation center get supported through a you know funding program and others and then how today you know she is quite successful i'm just trying to tell you dear participants uh, do not just you know attend such kind of talk just for you know attending a talk think where you can bring values and there are many people are there in the platform to add values to your ideas that's why incubation centers are born in the country now this is exciting you know one student comes you know somebody from bangalore comes and he says you know the problem statements in the silk industry that you uh, take the silk fiber you color them and coloring process uses a lot of water you say wastage of water 
it uses a lot of chemicals. It's a chemical hazard. Now, how can you? So he said, this is a big problem with our silk industries. So to make the process much better, the coloring process, he comes out with a process of naturally coloring the cocoon. Imagine, don't have to color fibers now anymore. The cocoon during this, you know, before you get silk fiber, you're all colored by naturally. Yellow, pink, purple. This is what innovation is. It's not about, you know, building a rocket or developing a vaccine. These are also very, very important innovations. You have to understand. So think wherever you have interest are, it's agriculture, it's industrial biotech, or it's, you know, you know plant system or a diagnostics, human health, the plant health, or the domestic animal health, wherever you think there is a possibility you want to build it, please bring those innovations to an incubation center, talk to right mentors, take it further, don't stop it just at the ideation level. See, such things get funded. That's what my whole you know, uh, no, idea is telling you, money is not a problem. It's all about the right problem statement and the right mindset. This is exciting. This is IIT Madras guy who's also incubating with us. Ima imagine, so what he realized, he's a you know, chemical engineer. What he realized, when farmers produced their products, it goes from farm to the market. It takes a lot of logistic support. Now, government has created many sort of, uh, what do you call the cold chain, may not be effective much. It's very cumbersome. So what he thinks, how can I enable farmers so that for a six, seven hours time, they will not put much of energy or much of money to transport their farm products to the market so that they get better price. Now, dear students, here you imagine this technology which brings a box with a material called phase transition material. Once you cool it, it can sustain that for cooling 8, 10 degrees centigrade for next 8 to 10 hours. Imagine this company is now getting a lot of fundings, including investment fund of 5 crores. This is solving an unmet need of farmers who are having no other ways to give away these farm products in a very low prices. Somebody was coming to the farm, they're taking low prices. He or she can sell it up at better prices, so better livelihood. Look how technology can be impactful. This can be affordable also. Now, this is now being developed for ice cream kind of thing, cold chain, very, you know, uh, high, you know, minus kind of product. So this will all evolve in that way. So my submission to all of you that think differently, bring your problem statement so clearly that if you solve it, there has to be adoption, there is to be validation, there is to be scale up, people will start buying it, you'll find customer, and this is how it has to grow in the market. Very interesting here. I, mean, I like this student because he was a master student of Kids School of Biotechnology. So he said, I'll not do classical project work. I'll do a very different kind of thing. So what his idea was, two ideas he brought in, that food, what I'm getting, you know, we are getting in the market is not safe. All of you know about it. Especially he said, the baked food. So he understood the baked food has got a chemical, which is called acrylamide, which is toxic chemicals. So if you eat more and more, you might have some you know, side effect. Now he said, okay, how do I make a new process of baking which will not form acrylamide? Exciting. So using one enzyme called L-asperginate, which is you know, used in the food industries, but not the baking industries. Now that's how he brings a concept to bring in this to food industries and to make bakery products quite safe, not having acrylamide. The other exciting thing he said, I'll not do a project was just like that. He went to the you know, all hostels of a university and found out who is using overcooked oil and what is the constituent of overcooked oil and how can he bring a new model. If you give us spent oil or the overcooked oil, we can really convert into biodiesel and give it to you as a biodiesel kind of thing. Very exciting. Dear participant, do you know? The oil, the spent oil is coming from different countries to one port being processed, goes back with a high value product. You have to think in this direction of scale up direction. So when you do any project work, and don't take it only classical academic way, think from the entrepreneurial way, 
you do good science, you build good technology, but also think in mind who are going to be a potential customer, a business plan, investment, scale up, growth strategies. This is what you have to think. And this student, which is a master student, went to Switzerland for PhD, came back after one month, said, I want to build my own company. Kriya Food was born with the faculty, Dr. Visaka, and this company is now more than six to seven gross turnover company. This is how your ideas can build enterprise. She is a lady who came to our incubation center, who is a scientist from Japan, Kyoto University, who wanted to be a faculty. So we talked to her, that faculty is fine. Can you different, think differently? So she thought differently. She was developing a protein which can get into your cells, very specific organs, drill into the cells and open up the cargo molecule, which it, you know, it is you know, targeted for. Let's say for cancer patients, she has been developing the proof of concept. The drug molecule, which you take orally or injectable, it goes to everywhere. So only 2% absorbed by a particular specific organs. Now she says, let's make targeted ones, very, very specific ones. So you take these you know, uh, molecules, it gets into your specific, let's say you are targeting against liver, gets into your liver cells, gets into liver cells by drilling mechanism, which is a nanoscale, and gets inside the liver cells, open up the medicine or the molecule and gets dissolved. How exciting is this? Ladies and gentlemen, if it happens, I think this company will be one of the most exciting company of India. So she has been developing from ideas to the next level of technology at next level, three, four, five. It's a long process. It's a 15 and 20 years process. So far, she has been well-funded. You could see that a lot of millions funded, but we never know how successful it will be. This is what the whole science is about. Today, she is very popular in the country and Ireland and in uh, UK also. So she is developing a new protein molecule, which acts as a screw, molecular screw. Once you take it with the molecules embedded in it, it gets into specific cells. Just imagine, this will have a long impact on the cancer therapeutics if it happens so well, even other you know, diseases too. This is exciting. This lady, she came after PhD, she could have been a faculty somewhere, but she said, I want to be a social innovation fellow. I look at the preeclampsia as a problem statement. It's a social stigma. So she wanted to solve it. She got a fellowship, then prototyping grant, startup fund from Indian oil, coverage grant, what not. And today she is ready with two devices, which looks at preeclampsia and also the kidney dysfunction disease. Imagine such things are happening in India through a process of incubation, which you call bioincubator. I could show you a student to a faculty, to a you know, PhD scholar, to everyone, how they could leverage the bioincubation facilities in India or especially in our places and build their ideas into enterprise. Today, Pranti is very popular. You just Google these people. Saika, Saika, you know, Saika Onko Solutions, Saigenica is very, very popular. Kriya Foods is very popular in Odisha. 1090, everyone, Creamy Biotech, Upsoil, all are building their idea. They never stopped. So they took their leverage, the presence of buy incubator and could convert their ideas into enterprises. So remember, these things all can happen with you also. I have said so many things, but the one exciting part is that, you know, I come from incubation center, what it provides you, I, then you can also understand how you can leverage these activities. Now, incubation centers, I told you, it's an ecosystem, even though I'm a professor, but when I come to incubator, I'm an entrepreneurial professor. It means if I talk to you, I mean business, commercial sustainability, viability, scalability, all these things comes into mind. Now, Kit TB have been very, very popular in the country and supported by almost, once you do good work, you'll support it by everyone. All government agencies from DST, BIREC to METI to TDB to MSME, everyone. I want to tell you what exactly you have done. This ecosystem has got all these facilities, office space, very stylish, seating facilities, equipment facilities, testing laboratories, meeting rooms, other sort of facilities like incubation area, conference rooms. You come to this incubator, you'll feel this is something different than academic institutions. Very, very, what you call incubation facilities. It provides so many things. Just read out one by one. It starts from technology and idea validation. You might say your idea is very good. Who is validating that? 
So this center has got center which will validate your ideas and tell you, look, this is how it's going to work. This may not be working because of these this possibilities. It tells you also how to build your product. So you have designed about it. You can build your prototypes. You can build your product. You can do testing of your product. You also bring you a lot of networking, mentoring. People come in, you know, they look at your technology. They see, oh, this can be very good for municipality corporation in Bangalore. So imagine a technology from Odisha goes to Bangalore. This all happens in incubation facilities, you know, uh, in the country. Now, also you bring a lot of funding and investment. It should realize that we are very, very popular in the country, bringing a lot of funds and investment. Provide IP. We have an IP lawyer, IP attorney, legal company. We have a legal manager here, regulatory manager here, compliance manager here. We bring in a lot of these people in a one platform. And of course, beyond that, we bring more than that market connect. Look, in the business world, whatever you do, technology only plays 10%. The rest, all these things plays more. 90% played by the market connect, the investment program, all these things will play a major role. So never think only technology is going to change everything. You need to sustain your technology by bringing more money, scale it up, and people should accept it. You should build your client list. We also, some people say, okay, we are very good in building technology. We don't want to build an enterprise. We don't want to. We can also do technology transfer activities. We also will be benefited by this. Take transfer activities. We handhold these people for future growth. Larger scale up operation, maybe in Canada is a market for you. Ireland could be a market for you. Netherlands could be. So we bring in those international connects too. And of course, there are a lot of facilities you provide from, you know, uh, laboratory to a lot of things in the in-house facilities. This is how it looks like. So much of exciting laboratories, interesting platform, which you may not buy the day one. Of course, you can buy once you become big. We have companies who became now 9,000 crores company called Far Eye Technology. Three students of electrical engineering came to us, first startup company. Today, the Far Eye, you can Google F-A-R-E-Y-E, -E, is a 9,000 crores company. Look, one simple idea could build an enterprise, more than 500 people, and today the company is so successful. This is what we wanted. So these uh, you know, enterprises, uh, these uh, instruments are there, which is very expensive, which you cannot buy, incubation center provides you. So what we, our job is here, we bring in 360 degrees approach to your developments from ideation stage to acceleration stage to growth stage. So you look at here, idea to POC, there's a ideation phase, then you go for a POC to prototype a pre-incubation phase, then you build your MVP product, which is the incubation phase, and then you go to acceleration phase. All these platforms is supported by various funding agencies. I told you from the beginning, funding is not a problem. If you are building the right technology, which is, which is unmet need, and if you solve it, there is a client which is waiting for you. You can commercialize it. There's nothing like it. I think funding is going to come automatically. Look at this 11 to 12 years of our existence as an incubator. How could we bring in a lot of fundings from support from government in India, European Union, US consulate, everywhere we've got funding and supported more than 300 odd companies like you who are looking at incubation. Remember, this is very, very exciting in the country happening now today with Invest India, Make in India, Startup India, Bayrak is in the portfolio, DST, so many funding coming up and incubators have been strengthened to not only to help them at the ideation stage, but the next stage of growth, there are fund of funds available. We could take leverage of those things and help our innovators start up at every stage of the development. And now some of them are quite successful. Look at this one slide shows you how we started in 2009 without anything in our state, no incubation center. Today, KTBI became one of the most successful, vibrant into the country. Funding is not a problem. So uh, this is a, a bit of old slide, but we have promoted more than now 300 odd startup companies and you'll be very happy. These companies, we have put little money of 16 crores as a seed fund. Of course, grant fund is more, but seed fund. And this company comes from BTEC pass out, masters, PhD, all sectors. And these have company, this company have raised more than 1200 crores rupees from the private equity funds, which is very, very interesting in the country. 
And these companies are really growing and growing and growing. This is how we look at. More than that, I feel very proud as an incubation fraternity. These startups have created more than 4,500 jobs. This is not a joke. I think today I, I can tell you very you know, straightforward, if you come forward to take your ideas to the next level through an incubation process, you never know. Out of 50, 100, if one clicks, they bring 2,000 or 1,500 jobs for the country. This is what we are looking at through incubation. Not only you promote your innovations, but also you create jobs for others. That's what the most exciting part of it. Look, every sectors we are there. If you look at our startup companies, 260 odd companies, they come to us at different stages, ideas and stages. Only idea, one individual. We help him, help her to go to next level of team building, funding, bring some money, prototype development, validations, regulatory company, all these things comes into picture. Then he goes to the commercialization phase. From healthcare, drugs, devices, diagnostics to edutech, everywhere we are present. And we are very, very successful. And these all 260 companies comes out from people like you. So my suggestion, don't only listen to the talk, but think beyond it that what you have not done so far, only taking exams and you know going to next level, please think about it. How can you build such kind of startups? And startups are not coming from you know toppers of the bench. They come from people who think differently. So this is how it, you know, it is. I'm very so happy that even today you see these two girls, the twin sister next to the, you know, agri crop residues, you know, they are making organic batteries, biodegradable batteries coming, you know, from crop residues. Agri residues component is being filled in these batteries, which are now producing, you know, current or the power for the electronic vehicles, EVs. This company, two innovators, got little support, but today they're getting very, very, you know, well funding from the government. And yesterday they've been funded by a Pontac VC from UK and honored in the British High Commission yesterday. This is how I can tell you there are many of them. Uh, you know, in the top you see, M, you know, MC that is called the Mass Challenge at Israel. One of a student who is a master's from NIT Raurkela built the world's fastest blood clotting reagent. Imagine, fastest blood clotting reagent has bigger market. Indian Army imports 1,400 crores such substance from outside. These innovators are going to really create differences. People like you are going to create differences. So think in a positive way, focused way, build your mentorship pool, build your team so strong that in future you will build your successful enterprise. Now there are many of them getting award from honorables. Minister, the Defense Minister, President of India, everywhere they are winning in Israel Mass Challenge or in Japan or in US. They're everywhere these people are you know, present. So this is what you know. I'm trying to tell you that uh, innovations is going to drive our country's economy in future. It could be bioeconomy, the tech economy, but all of us we must think that how do we work in a cohesive way, in a bring the right problem statements, bring clarity how to take it further how to build a path for our innovations to go to next level of technology development and then market readiness level component. So these are all things incubators brings for you. Of course, not all incubators, the authentic ones. And um, I'll be su suggesting all of you to go through a right incubator process. You are with probably Sisti is a very good branded incubator. Talk to them and take your ideas to next level. Don't stop at the ideas and level to next level and you'll realize some of you will be building up the next as a company here whatever i'm showing the slides you know in this picture everyone is now big companies now they're getting bigger and bigger so that's what the whole country is looking at you think you know differently bring a new culture a new mindset a new process and you must not complain about challenges but you must look at the challenges very smartly convert them into opportunities with your business so once you do good work, awards are byproducts. So it comes to you automatically. It's because of starter, because of good incubator. We have been recognized everywhere in the country, also internationally. So that's where I come from, Kit TBI. And our job is to create impactful, innovative, and successful enterprises. And dear participant, you'll be very happy that now we are so successful. 
government of India, Bayrak has told us to go to all states of East and Northeast to help them. So we will be very happy that we are now going to promote 100 plus manufacturing startup from Northeast and already we have got now 37 of them and supported them, taking them to next level. So with this, I'll stop here. And I know you know you'll have some questions from your side. Now the floor is open uh, for questions. Thank you so much, Doctor, for your motivating and elaborate speech. Uh, the session is open for discussion. If you have any clarifications, you can ask. By the way, who are there in the audience? I didn't know. They're all startup or? Uh, they're all uh, undergrad students, life sciences, oh. biotechnology. Very good, very good. So, any one of you, any questions you can ask? Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Yeah, so actually, I was like, uh, it was a very, very beautiful presentation, and yeah, I'm, I'm an undergrad student in NIT Raurkela, and uh, it was very fascinating. Oh, like, very I, good. I've been in third year, I didn't visit the KIT bio incubator, but sure, I will visit, and I want to, you know, visit and explore the things like whatever going on in the bio incubator. Yeah, Parthipan, and... you'll be very happy. You'll be very happy that you know we've been promoting now six startup company from NIT Raurkela. And good yeah, one from I mean, underwater robots to a drain of uh, the drones to fastest blood loading reagents. Good, we'll welcome you, Kitty. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. And I'm sure I, I mean, even I'm a bit very interested in entrepreneurship field as well. So, hopefully, we'll, I'll try to avail the opportunities which are in the KIT bank. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody needs one crore rupees fund questions? <laughs> no, I think, you know, uh, the most exciting part would be if you are like somebody said from an Raukela Parthipan that I'm very excited and I want to build, please, you know, don't stop thinking. Today, you may not be good. I told you one example, Far Eye. Far Eye was building something else earlier. They couldn't succeed. They switched. So this understanding of technology development, product development, proof of concept, validation, then to scale up. Once you understand, I think you become the most smartest guy. And next you start, you become much more you know, successful. So don't think if I go, I should only you know, do a job earn my salary, of course, you can do that. But some of you should think differently because who is going to provide jobs? These big companies are not going to provide you more and more jobs in future. Startups are going to look an incubation center of KTBA has produced more than 4,500 technical jobs. Now, some of you think different, like Parthipan said, I want to build something. You never know. Once you build a path for you, as I told you, if you become smarter, you understand your team is so good and your mentors are really helping you. You can build a company which will deploy 500 people. And that will be, that day you'll be so happy that you could employ 500 people. And that's how the power of innovations. I don't look at only money. I also look at the enterprise should deploy, employ you know, many people. Good. Any more questions you can ask me or you can write to me. My colleague, Dr. Namrata, is there afterwards. She'll also talk to you. Any questions, you also can ask her. I think no questions. They're all sleeping <laughs> close. <laughs> Good. Questions to Puchna Chaye? Nay? Don't feel shy. Don't feel shy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't feel shy. Yeah. Anyway, maybe next um, time. Sir, sir, yeah. another, sir, another question. Yes, Pat. Sir, uh, actually, uh, sir, being from biotech, environmental biotechnology department, even our lab is producing, like I'm I'm from smart agricultural lab in the native okay. So even our lab is producing some prominent papers and uh, currently we are working on uh, the 
kombucha the fermentation process of kombucha and each yeah. other working so like okay i the from the institute like we are providing giving papers so is it our fault like the papers and the work we are producing uh, like oh, every year like we are producing papers and everywhere we are producing work so from that work to entrepreneurship like so that is the work of us or you know uh, like where are those exact works are going like the papers we are producing or whatever the things they are producing uh yeah. is it we have to take the step or good 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 now i got a question so good good at least you are thinking in the direction now you have to understand professors are meant there to you know get projects do some experiments build some you know results publish it very no we don't want to complain what i thought today we were here 20 odd people they are different they want to do something exciting in their life to solve a problem which needs to be solved you you don't want to solve your problem you want to solve a problem which needs to be solved and you see there will be so many beneficiaries if you solve it and they will try to adopt it and they will try to pay for it there is a commercial angle so your job can also be in nid raurkela when somebody is doing like this you can always discuss and you those know how you can take it up and convert into enterprise right so but keeping in mind that the ip the patent you know rights with whom and then you start building how do i build a new product or a new process or a new service sector out of this know how which i got when i at orkala and that could also be you know a business plan behind it i think there is nothing called somebody anybody can take anybody's knowledge and build enterprise no problem we are not telling you to make uh, let's say a uh, potato chips company but we want to take, uh, tell you to make a new process of making potato chips it's not healthy potato is fried how do you make a new process like people have bought in oxy fry how do you bring other components so where the nutritional component will be much better so bring those concepts in an idea or color and take it to a new uh, you know sort of a technology development portfolio the path i told you if you really you know meet all these criteria you can also start a company so your professor may not do it but you as a you know come part of this team might take it further so who takes it further to enterprise is going to be more popular yes sir got it so thank you sir thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen all of you thank you thank you so much for that thank you thank you bye can i leave uh, yes sir thank you